player going against one of the best, you know, TJ players. It's already pretty hard. <laughs> feel yeah. like, yeah, like I said, uh, you, know, you get into like round three or four, uh, this tournament's going to get pretty rough. Um, Ness Game & Watch. I feel like a lot of Ness's short hop aerials won't hit Game & Watch, which is a problem because Ness likes to throw out 16 short hop aerials mm -hmm. in the span of five seconds. What um, I want to see... Might have to play a grounded game. Yeah, yeah. I, I want to see mainly how uh, yeah, Lumbre gets around like the juggles from up B. Like, I, I want to see how he approaches with the threat of uh, oh, no. Twerk Master having that up B out of shield. Because, you know, Ness wants to lay on top of you with aerials a lot of times. Yeah. The other problem is even if uh, it looks like oh the fuck yeah, just it's for the not percent gonna, it's not gonna be that big yeah. of a deal because it's just PK fire yeah, right. but even if you hit them with PK fire it looks like bucket comes out yeah I saw and it so, I saw it so you can get out of PK fire really easily which is one of Ness's like favorite tools to kind of go to especially when they're trying to figure stuff out you you want to kind of use PK fire to see how they're gonna deal with it and Game Watch just has such an easy time dealing with it so that's already a problem for for Lumbre mm -hmm. but. Ness has a lot of really good movement options, just kind of like Game & Watch, how Game & Watch can trick you up a lot. I, I feel like Ness can kind of get out of bad situations uh, easier than some characters against Game & Watch. Right now, though, they're both trying to find a kill move. That forward air not going to kill from that far away on the stage. Can oh. Ness, can Ness down be the forward air? No. Oh, well, the explosion. The explosion. Yeah, the explosion. Yeah, yeah. If it's explosion. like spaced properly, he can down it. Right, right. But probably, that's like such a specific it, timing. Yeah. If you mess up, you die like he just did. Yeah, that's rough. When the game watch just said, oh, you forgot you can fall on top of you with the key, but there's oh. in there. Caught he him tried holding to, the bucket out, asking yeah. for change, and Ness said no. I guess he wanted to stall his timing off stage yeah. and make it really tricky, but Lumber's like, I'm just going to spin on you, man. <laughs> yeah. I don't know who you're trying to trick out here. So, yeah. Game, these guys are already going really close in this stock. Yeah, this is back uh, and forth. looking like a good set. It's it's not really looking like uh, character-wise it's going to matter too much. It's mm -hmm. just going to be outplaying each other. Yeah. Cool, cool to see. Okay, fire. There it is. LB also LB. gets you out of it. So, yeah, yeah, Game & Watch can just deal with that however he pleases. You still take a little bit of damage, though. You know, it's, yeah. it's not, like, totally useless. And it's still good to throw out, especially Ooh. if you uh, catch him slipping. Yeah, he's a... Uh, He's getting out with the, you know, of the PK fires, but he's still, you know, taking the percent deficit. So he has to worry about Ness killing pretty soon, especially since he's such a light character. Game Watch one of the lightest characters in the game, but yeah. there's the up smash finally connecting. Surprised I'm not seeing him use it to condition uh, Lumber a little bit more, like to try to punish the up smash in, uh, you know, a neutral, you know. Uh huh. But he might be saving that for another option. Or another moment, rather. But there's the up smash. A lot of people forget how strong that move is, even with without Game Watch being super light. That kills heavy characters as well. Okay. Torquemaster at a little bit of a deficit here. That's definitely a kill percent, though, if Torque can uh, land a smash attack or maybe an aerial off stage. Looks like he's content to just uh, stay on stage, though. Yeah, and uh, Turkmaster, he's like getting the bucket just for like the low damage and maybe just nullify the PK fire, wow. but he's starting to kind of get punished for it. Oh, oh. That was such a risky uh, way to land from Lumbre. Got away with it for a split second, but Turkmaster able to uh, clean it up, and now we got last stock situation. Excuse me. Yeah, let's see. Let's see how you know, Turkmaster can adapt here. Right now, though, Lumbre is looking really solid. I gotta say, I'm really impressed with how Lumber is spacing his aerials because I thought this would be like maybe Game Watch getting a whole bunch of upbees out too. of shield. I did too. I legitimately did too, and I didn't think that the aerials were gonna connect as easily as they are either. Yeah. This is an opportunity though. Game yeah. Watch, those neutral airs get started, those up air juggles get started, and uh, that's his poor like aerial mobility, like at least as far as drifting left and right, that can is. get really Not bad. Quite. But man, are we? I don't know, you might just see Lumbre clutch this one out. Yeah, Lumbre just needs a grab now at the ledge or uh, back air and to seal it out. Master still looking to rack up a little uh -huh. bit more damage. Oh, still living Not a that sweet spot yeah. back there. This might be it. Oh, yeah. the poke nice too. Punish. That was nice. really good. That up smash, when, when you're like at the ledge and you're getting up smash charged, mm -hmm. there's nothing, I don't know if there's anything you can really do. Because oh, if, if you don't drop, it breaks. And if you drop your shield, you get hit by the up smash. At the ledge. I've seen, yeah, it's it's really tricky because I've even seen people, you know, use like the uh, mechanic where if it hits your shield like a certain amount of times, you can buffer a yeah, roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but if you release, yeah, it has really a back yeah. hit as well. Maybe Game Watch can up B. I don't know. I think he even tried, tried to up B. Yeah. yeah. 
I don't it, know. It's just a really good shield poking like kill option. Maybe you, you wait for the 11 hits and then you up beat. Does that work? Or is, is it only the roll that becomes invincible after the 11? I don't know how that works. Yeah, I should I should look and see if Game Watch up. He has some invincibility. Probably yeah. does. <laughs> Knowing how good it is. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to spread any misinformation. Yeah, yeah, though, yeah, so yeah, I'm exactly, not going to say exactly. for sure. He died. But, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, let me got that Chris game. Really, uh, you know, it's getting it's going relatively even, but just with uh, Twerk Master being behind so much of like the percent in that last game, True. it just made it rough because yeah. you have to worry about that one kill move, and that's just like can safely throw out these things. Yeah, you know? it feels like first stock is a pretty big deal for these two because they're they're pretty consistently evenly taking damage. Mm -hmm. So yeah, first stock might mean a lot. And the first stock was like such a last hit scenario. Yeah. Last game scenario. Right, let's see. It, oh, oh, so okay, oh. we got the up B stage spike. Yeah, yeah he, he didn't bonk. get close enough to the uh, yeah the ledge to bonk off of it. Yeah, no bonk. Nice. So now a totally different uh, situation than we saw in game one. We'll see how Twerk Master is able to capitalize on this early lead. Of course, go back for the throw, back not throw. Not going to kill, but it does give him a little bit of stage control. What little you can have against Game Watch. <laughs> I actually really like how Twigmaster got back to the ledge there with the bucket stall yeah. and then mix up with the downer on the platform. Got some decent amount of percent too, but put himself back at the ledge, unfortunately. Ooh. And that, Ness eats that up all day. Yeah, that smash charge is a problem. <laughs> charge that smash attack at the ledge. One of the best buffs Ness has received it's so good. in Smash. It's funny because he just used to do a down smash facing the other way. Yeah. Like, oh, no, I just do it facing forward. I get to look at you and then kill you. Walking the dog, man. <laughs> he's gotten really good at walking <laughs> the dog. <laughs> he's been walking the dog for a really <laughs> long time. <laughs> it's like the only trick he knows, but he's so consistent. Yeah, in spite of that, you know, this is a huge lead for Torque Master right now. Yeah, that down smash probably would have taken it if he uh, let it rip a little bit earlier, but Lumbre actually able to get a little bit of damage here before losing the stock. Yeah, Ooh, another one great yeah. down there. There's yeah. not much uh, Ness can do about that down there, I don't think. It's just the way he's the using it. He wants to, like, you know, oh, we down smash. How many is he going to get? Okay, yeah, <laughs> okay. up he's early and just kind of goes high. About all he could do there. See, oh. the way that he's using landing down air again, watch the... Um, Lumber is trying to like call it a landing, you know, and just be patient, but yeah. he's just falling on top of him so fast with that hitbox, you know. Uh, still though, these these players have been so even after the first stock. So yeah. Torque Master got that early stock lead, and it, it just really hasn't given Lumber a chance to catch back up. So I do think that first stock matters a lot in uh, in the case of these two players. Hmm. Like this is such a hard road to. <laughs> To, to get through for Lumbre. That's not a phrase. Hard road to get through? What am I yeah. talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I never, I've not heard that before, no. Yeah, it's because no one says it. It's a terrible phrase. He has a large hill to climb. Yes, that's, that's much better. <laughs> little little Lumbre arms, little Ness arms. You can't climb up things very well. But uh, if he could take this stock without taking any more percent, you know, Ness has some early combos that could, could rack up damage. He could rack it up with a PK fire, but oh god, he's got Bucket. I, bucket won't kill, but it'll be, you know, solid damage. Yeah, and with the, how he's just racking up the damage with the percent right now, is this like the reverse of the last game? Exactly, when, yeah. When Lumbre had the percent lead and the stock yeah. lead, he just was forced to take a lot more risk since he has to, like, make the kill happen. Yeah, I think if we do go to game three, it's really going to come down to who takes the first stock. Or this phase, of course, but. Yeah, true. Last stock. Game Watch can swing so many things to kill Ness. Yeah, you just put the scuba helmet on and go to town, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what else to <laughs> say. <laughs> oh, oh eventually the bucket yeah, does kill does from kill PK eventually. Fire. Yeah. That had a really large hitbox range, too. Yeah, I feel like once you're over like 130, it's probably not a good idea to PK Fire. Yeah. All right, it's game uh, three. That was probably one of those situations where he's like, all right, I'm behind. I need to rack up damage quick. Let's just get this like PK Fire like down throw. You know, lock him in place with the PK fire, get like a throw combo for it, you know? Yeah. But we are just going back to PS2, which uh, was the, the solid lead that Torque Master got and was able to, to clean it up. So uh, Lumbre letting it happen. I think Lumbre also realizes that stage probably isn't the biggest factor in this matchup. And it just, it's kind of like, I'll play you on the first stock and then keep my lead and don't let it go. Don't let you build up momentum. Yeah, and they're playing on the same stage they already played on. So it's like not even a counter pick like no, that. You not just really. Go back to the, you know, 
relatively neutral stage and just try right. to adapt to the other player. I'll play them as best he can. He no, he oh, can no. air dodge up. Wow. That's another great way that Game Watch can go so aggressive <laughs> off stage. I love the beer versus bacon here too. Yeah, just trap the landing, get another re grab. Oh, man, this Torque is, Master. Yeah, this is looking like the Torque Master show so far. But yeah, it's looking great. You know, one opening can, can even this back up. Oh. He's already got the bucket. You might as well let the, the PK fires rip. Yeah, he can't bucket anymore, yeah. so, you know. Can you still reflect? Oh, no, he can't reflect because if he bucketed, then. then right. yeah. Oh, caught the Scuba. panic roll from the ledge. <laughs> and there it is the Scuba of Smash. Game Watch's his smash attacks are just, outside of his F smash maybe, like his down smash and up smash are just so, so good, good at catching panic rolls and like jump ins. F Anything smash is a great early kill option if you get them buried too, so yep. I mean, they all have their oh. uses. Yeah, so this is what I'm talking about, I man. Like, like again, Torque Master takes the first stock and this is, uh, we're on that big road again. <laughs> It's basically, okay, nice oh, up smash. Nice. Great. Okay, that's really good. Only having 41% on the second stock kind of nullifies the, the idea that I was going for where it was going to be hard to come back. But well, he, he needs to even it up really quickly. He can't and he also, he also can't uh, riskily use the PK fire because yeah. even though he's not dying from the PK fire all the time, it just ra gets free damage for yeah. Uh, Torque Master. And it gives Torque Master a humongous hitbox. And like a character like Ness, who's so small, and specific, it can sometimes be hard to lock him down. Mm -hmm. But with Bucket, it's like, oh, with uh, with Bucket, you know, it covers like two roll distances. So there's really nowhere for um, for Lumbre to go when that happens. Yeah, Lumbre needs to make something happen now. Oh man, he still just, shouldn't kill. Yeah. yeah, it won't kill, but that's gotta be a little bit demoralizing. You can't use one of your main Ooh. damage racking tools. Oh, and he just got the forward air to catch him. At the ledge oh, that's again. So beautiful from Torque Master. Yeah, Torque Master is definitely representing, you know, TJ right now. Yeah, Looking really true. good. Like one stock away from the already, I would say upset uh, SoCal rank player. Yeah, yeah, and again we're in the situation where you know Lumber is almost lapped, and uh, no one's made a big comeback. You know, in the two games we've seen, whoever has the lead won the game. Like it's just been that it's been that consistent. So. And it's, it's looking like that might happen again if Lumbre doesn't figure something out quickly. The only thing I can see is maybe Torque Master will get a little antsy for the kill and give Lumbre a couple more openings. But if that doesn't happen, it's going to be pretty rough. Oh, buffer to air dodge. He Dude. thought the back air would hit him into the stage. I think buffered air dodge is the worst feeling.